China has successfully broken through the blockade, and foreign media say China is standing up. Despite China being the world's largest industrial country, with industrial output even surpassing the United States, many high-end fields are still monopolized by Europe and the United States. China is still a certain distance away from Western developed countries. Western countries, represented by the United States, restrict China in many high-end fields to avoid being surpassed. The blockade of China by the United States in the chip field is a typical example. When it comes to the development of Chinese technology, we often hear about the lack of chips and screens. Undoubtedly, chip supply is currently the most tricky problem, but the operating system, as the sole, still needs more effort. Although Huawei's Hongmeng system has achieved good results, it still needs to work harder to reach the status of iOS and Android. As for screens, China also urgently needs cutting-edge technology. Let's take a closer look in this video. For nearly 20 years, screens and chips have been the weak links in China's technology industry chain. Whether it's a mobile phone, a computer, or a TV, the screen is an indispensable component. But even for such a common thing in life, although Chinese manufacturers have achieved remarkable results in the screen and chip markets through continuous research and development investment when it comes to the development and production of cutting-edge products, domestic Chinese companies still lag behind international standards. This is mainly because many technologies and equipment are monopolized by overseas companies. This crucial equipment is monopolized by Japanese companies, and even queuing is required to buy it. It is understood that this equipment is called a sputtering machine, which is a necessary equipment for producing electronic device screens. Owning this equipment controls the lifeline of screen manufacturing and greatly improves the efficiency of screen production. It's the sputtering machine. Many people may not be familiar with the name sputtering machine, but when it comes to OLED screens, many people know about it. In addition to mobile phone chips, it is another important component. Nowadays, Many mobile phones use OLED screens, including Huawei, Samsung, Oppo, and others. The sputtering machine is precisely the key equipment for making OLED screens, which requires vaporizing OLED materials into films and making them into light-emitting devices. In this process, vaporization is crucial, and the sputtering machine not only needs to maintain high vacuum, but also requires high positional accuracy and uniform evaporation. Therefore, the manufacturing process of sputtering machines is very complicated, and it is very difficult for people to make a perfect sputtering machine. So the sputtering machine is also called the lithography machine in the screen industry. Relevant personnel said that although screens seem to require no technology, the process behind them is extremely difficult. With the development of the times, our requirements for screens are also increasing. In addition to delicate colors, they must also have certain abilities such as resistance to falling and pressure. The appearance of smartphones has even higher requirements for sensing capabilities. Not only that, Apple has explicitly stated that only screen panels processed by Japanese high-end sputtering machines are allowed to enter the Apple industrial system. Therefore, in order to win favor with Apple, major screen panel manufacturers are scrambling to buy Japanese sputtering machines. Before China conquered this technology, high-end screen panels were mainly produced by companies in Japan and South Korea. The reason why they can dominate this field is also because of their advanced sputtering machine technology. Japanese companies have even achieved absolute monopoly with a 5-micrometer error range, 
and almost all advanced screen panels in the world cannot do without sputtering machines produced by this country. Currently, Canon Takia, a Japanese company, monopolizes the high-end sputtering machine market globally. When you see this name, many people may think it's Canon from Japan. In fact, this company has nothing to do with Japanese Canon at all. Moreover, the scale of this company is not large, only a few hundred people. Because of its small scale, it only produces a dozen or so machines a year. In fact, the production of vacuum sputtering machines is very troublesome, which also leads to high prices. It is reported that a vacuum sputtering machine sells for as much as 1 billion renminbi. But even so, many companies still can't get it. As of 2018, the main producer of OLED distillation equipment was Japanese Canon Takia, with a market share of 90%. And the sputtering machines produced by Canon Takia are almost all-inclusive for Korean companies such as Samsung and LG. So China is also stuck by foreign countries in the OLED field. The good news is that Chinese domestic companies have developed vacuum sputtering machine equipment to enter the sputtering machine market, successfully breaking the monopoly of Japanese Canon Takia and lighting up the first OLED production line. This production line is completely designed and manufactured independently by China and has successfully lit up lighting panels of various colors. It represents a huge breakthrough for China in OLED production, and two manufacturers in Hefei have also announced successful development of vacuum sputtering machines. Especially the equipment developed by Zhongshan Kaixian Vacuum Technology is equipped with a highly accurate positioning system, and its positional accuracy has reached the micron level. This means that the product developed by China can actually compete with similar models in Japan and South Korea. With the continuous development of technology, OLED screens have gradually become the mainstream in the market. With its more delicate picture quality and self-luminous characteristics, it undoubtedly has huge advantages over LCD screens. Like Japan, China is also a major manufacturing country for electronic products, and it has the world's largest consumer market for electronic products, so the demand for OLED will only increase. According to data from GN Consulting, the OLED market is expected to reach 34.3 billion US dollars in 2020. In the smartphone race, OLED panels are growing rapidly. Currently, OLED replacing LCD has become the mainstream trend, and the shipment volume of OLED panels is expected to continue to grow. According to Ubiosearch's prediction, by 2023, the production of flexible OLED displays will increase to 353 million pieces. In the future large screen market, OLED displays with cost advantages may replace some of the market share of high-end LCD displays. According to the current development trend, domestic equipment manufacturers with advantages in sputtering machine research and development should also be one step ahead in inkjet printing equipment research and development. With this advantage, Chinese companies can quickly convert their market share in LCD displays into market share in OLED displays. After the Huawei incident, China has a clearer understanding that, if you don't sell it to me, I'll make it myself. The importance of mastering its core technology drives every scientist to contribute the greatest strength to the development of Chinese technology. The successful development of domestic Chinese companies in vacuum sputtering machines fills the gap in key OLED production technologies in China. China's technological strength is growing stronger day by day, and it is believed that in the not-too-distant future, China can truly compete with the United States. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, 
comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.